Jared Poland, Frodosphoto.com. And this vloggy McVloggerson is being made because I have to set up a new Lightroom catalog here at the factory because I just got my new laptop and I wanna start fresh and have all of my photos here at the factory nice and organized. Now, the issue I'm running into is how do I get five terabytes worth of images that go back from like 2000 to 2018 plus old scans of negatives from before that into Lightroom in a cohesive way that just isn't a major hierarchy of just folder after folder after folder after folder after folder, but then also combat the idea that if you put a lot of stuff into one catalog in Lightroom, that it slows it all down. That's what I'm trying to figure out. So, so the way that I do my folders, it's like this. It's the year, then it's the month and the day underscore the name of the shoot. So for example, 2018-08-02 underscore Fronos Photo, whatever that might have been, that would be it. But I've been using this naming sequence for Jesus, and since as soon as I started shooting digital, or a little after that, I started using that naming sequence. So I have all of these folders. Look, here, guys, take a look at this. I've got all of these folders right here. Focus. All of these folders that have different names like, we'll go all the way up here. Look, I even have one that's 2006. Let's go into this one. 2006 to 2009. And it's just folder after folder after folder after folder after folder of stuff, right? So I've got all of that to go in there. And this is what Lightroom would look like if I did that. It would just be tons and tons of folders. And then that's not even getting into these folders. So I have all of these folders here too. So that is a lot of stuff. So you can see that the, there's a dilemma there. So I started putting the stuff in, I'm like, I'm not doing this. And then the debate was, do I create individual folders that are called like six degrees, photo stories, or do I make separate catalogs for everything? Because I know a lot of people are like, well, I've got a separate catalog for everything. And I'm like, well, that's a pain in the ass if I just wanna, you know, look at images side by side and I've got them in separate catalogs and then I gotta, mess with it and export and I can't do something because too many catalogs is a pain in the ass too because you got to open each individual one every time you want to use it and that to me seems to be an issue now I reached out to the people at Adobe and I asked them I'm like does Adobe slow down I asked a couple of other people I used the Google to get some other information and one person's like no I just use a massive catalog because Adobe's made strides and it doesn't go as slow as it used to go and then Adobe themselves were like we used to say don't go past say 500,000 images and now they've seen them go over 2 million in a catalog. So I think it comes down to personal preference what you think will be the best option for you. Of course you need to keep your stuff optimized inside of Lightroom so that you don't clog down your computer with a ton of files. But this has been a dilemma that I wasted two hours on today and I, and I keep bouncing back and forth. So I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna split folders like this. Here, check this out. So this is what I'm thinking as of right now. Folders, like I've got Fronos Photo, so that's where I would put Fronos Photo in, uh, files, like real world reviews, general reviews, five minute portraits. Then below that, we've got photo stories. That's where I put all of my photo stories from way back until now. And then my Six Degrees project has its own folder. Now, I don't think it would be the best idea to go ahead and put them in separate catalogs now that I'm thinking off the top of my head. I mean, I'm thinking all the time, but I don't know that it makes sense to have separate catalogs for all of that. Maybe Fronos Photo could be a separate catalog, maybe. And my personal stuff could be a separate catalog. And you see this, I keep, I keep going around in circles. What do you guys do? Leave, leave the comments down below because this is definitely one of those think pieces, those mind melds. Um, I do think it makes sense to have Chronos photo stuff as a separate catalog because I probably never need to use most of those review things or it's always there. Now, do I start a separate catalog for concert photography, for stuff that's older? I think I'm gonna make a decision and the decision is going to be to take all of my old stuff, including whatever I've got up until today and try to now organize it into those folders like you saw and make a catalog with most of that stuff. 
Maybe I'll make a catalog with pre-certain stuff, like stuff that doesn't even matter that I go back and I look, I'm like, look, I'm never gonna need this shit, but I just wanna store it. Then I will put it in Lightroom and then I will have it. Okay, so, so far organization is starting to move along, dropping stuff in folders where I think they should go, trying to figure out what makes the most sense for each image folder that I come up with, and I think we've got something good. But you guys were asking me questions, and by you guys, I mean some people on Instagram, by the way, Jared Poland on Instagram is my Instagram, were asking me, do I store everything on an external drive? And then how do I back it up? So let me walk around the factory and just quickly show you that. So. I'm gonna try to stick with the front of the microphone here so you can hear it. So right over here, we've got my iMac. No, this is not an iMac, Jared. This is a MacBook Pro i9. So all of you people that wanna hate on it, go hate on it. It's what I'm using, it's what I'm keeping. So right on here on the computer, I'm just storing the Lightroom catalog so that it works fast off the internal one terabyte storage. But this is a Lacey 6 Big right here. This has six drives, and I believe that these are the eight terabyte drives in there. So eight times six, that's 48, right? I think, I think that's 48. So I've got up to 48 terabytes, but it's running in RAID, so I don't exactly get 48 total terabytes, but that's okay, if something crashes, you can replace a hard drive, put another one in. So this is a Thunderbolt 3 going into the, the dock right here and right there. So yeah, external right here. But actually, let me show you because when I travel, I also have, let me get into my bag here, hold on. I have, that's not it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. This, this is a Lacey, um, what is this one? This is a five terabyte Lacey Thunderbolt USB-C hard drive portable. So being that I have five terabytes of data, and, I, and that's all of my photos, by the way, because uh, I have five terabytes, I don't need all of that stuff. I could you know, take just the most important files and have them with me at all times if I want. So like, if I want to edit at home, I could go ahead and do it on that, but then it wouldn't sync up. That's a totally different story. But let me show you how we store everything and then get it backed up into the cloud. So I'm walking into this room and then underneath IT specialists are gonna yell at us because this is how we actually have our server. So down here, this is a Synology box, a Synology box, this is our server. So this is connected to our network. We've got a high speed network going through the factory. We get one gigabit down, by the way, wireless or plugged in, that's our internet service. Um, this device, this Synology has 12 bays and we've got 12 10 terabyte Seagate, whatever the drives, the, the Iron Wolf drives in there. So that's our server. So Dan can access it, Steven can access it, I can access it over at my desk. And then we came up with an awesome solution for storing all of our files up in the cloud, Dropbox Business. So if you have Dropbox Business and you have three, you have three business licenses. So it costs me 60 bucks a month because there's three of them. There's me, Dan, and Steven. And when you do that, Dropbox says you can have as much storage as you need. It's not unlimited, it's as much storage, storage as you need. So we've requested a lot of storage from them and we're over 50 terabytes of storage up in the cloud. Most of it, video. Uh, you know how many terabytes I have for my photos, but most of it is video, and so that's how we're doing our cloud storage solution. That's how we make sure that everything is backed up. So when we drop it on to the server, it goes ahead and it uploads that on in, up into the cloud. And then if we make a change, it re-uploads it so that we have, if we screw something up, we can go back and find the older version because the versioning is set so that we don't accidentally lose something. So we do have a lot of stuff stored up there, but I can also access that from anywhere in the world, my Dropbox, and pull down a file if I ever needed to say, find, if I'd have to find it first. But once I found it, I could download it as long as I have a fast connection. So I'm gonna continue on here organizing these folders. Look, this is like close to 20 years worth of Okay guys, so I pretty much figured it out. I came back late last night to move folders into other folders to get a different organization down. I just got on a roll. Well, now it's the next day and I wanna show you the computer to, to show you what I did. So over here, you can see that in the photo archive, I only have one thing left. I just have left the 2006 to 2009, which is all of these folders, which I need to drop where they belong. But check this out over here on the left. 
I've got something up here called Frono's Photo. Now, the Frono's Photo part is where I put all the Frono's Photo files. So five minute portraits, Fro Factory, general review photos, check out general review photos. That's all of the stuff where I do reviews like uh, 14 to 24 to, you know, verse 12 to 14, whatever it is, where I do different reviews. So they all go in here. That's a big folder because a lot of what I shoot are test shots. So that's why I made a Fronos photo folder. I also made music related folder and music related is broken down by years so I could find where everything is easily. And then even down here under six, well, I got six degrees and then photo stories. Under photo stories, I have my photo stories plus I may not leave these here, but artists like Ben Folds or Gavin DeGraw, Illinois, Modest Yahoo, Mr. Wives, Perry Farrell. That's where I have like multiple shoots with those, uh, those bands. So that all goes here. But if I scroll all the way down to the bottom, you see this won't need often. Now won't need often means I won't need to go in there often. So I'm probably gonna have at least three catalogs. One of them will be won't need often old stuff that I don't even touch that I don't need access to quick. Another one, it's gonna be Frono's photo, strictly Frono's photo photos for reviews, real world reviews and all of that stuff. And then another one is gonna have the family photos. It's gonna have my other photos and then photo stories. Oh God, it's probably gonna be four because there's gonna be six degrees. Six Degrees is gonna have its own, I think. But yeah, but, but you get the point. I've organized these folders. It took a minute, and by minute, I mean like times that by six. It took me many hours to do it, and I still have some more to do, but this makes more sense. It makes sense to have a couple of bigger catalogs. It doesn't make sense to have all of Frono's photo in with all of the don't need to see these often photos because they just need to be separate. So if I have four catalogs and they're nice and organized and every time I get a new photo, uh, do something new for Frono's photo, it goes into the right folder. Every time I do another photo story, it goes into the right folder. So hopefully going forward, I have the right organization set up. So that's it guys. That is what I've decided to do. If you do something different or have, have any tips or recommendations for me or other people, go ahead and leave them down below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. And that is where I'm going to leave it. Thank you very much for watching. Jared Poland, froknosephoto.com. See ya.